Hey, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today we are checking out how to play. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the artist's name or the song's name, so help me with that in the comments below. And let's get right into the lesson. If you want to play the song, just put a capo on second fret in order to match the key with the original track. Let's start with this intro over here, which is the chorus. This is a finger style sort of arrangement for the intro. So let's get into that. We're using C major first. If you don't want to play, you know, the, the finger style, just play a down strum on C, a down strum on G, simple down strum on D, and simple on E minor. So we have a ring finger on the third fret of fifth string, the middle finger is on second fret of the fourth string, open on the third string, and first fret on the second string. You're gonna pick the fifth and second strings together. All right, I'm doing it with my thumb and middle finger, you can choose any fingers you'd like, so pick fifth and second strings together. Then you pick the second string, third string, and fourth string. So you get this. All right, once again. And then you do this. All right, so it's very similar. You again pick the fifth and second strings together, and then again pick third string, and the fourth string. So you'll have this for the C chord. All right, once again, a little slowly. Now you come to your G. So it's very similar. If you notice the picking pattern is quite similar. The chord is played like this. You need your ring finger on the top string, third fret, middle finger is on. Um, second fret or the fifth string, even though we're not playing it, and second string is open, third string is open, fourth string is open. You pick the fourth, you pick the top string and the second strings together. Okay, second string is open, pick them both of them together, and then pick the second string, third string, fourth string. So, and then again pick top string and second string together and then straight go to 3rd string and 4th string. So you'll have this. Alright, quite similar to your C. Once again. So if you put C and G, both of them together, you'll get this. come to your E minor chord all right now the right hand the the picking pattern will remain the same as on G all right just the chord will change and you have open on the top string and second fret over here on the fourth string so all right the right hand is exactly the same as on G so let's take it from the beginning for C G and E minor you get this Same right hand. Now here's a change in D major. You do this. So to play D, you just need your second fret on third string. All right? Because we're not going to the lower string, so it's okay if you just keep the second fret on third string. You pick the fifth and four third strings together, and then. You do a pull off from second to open on the third string with the same index finger. So you get this. And then you pick fourth string open. So you get this. After this, you again do the pull off and then again pick fourth string open. So you'll get this. Awesome. 
now you know how to play the intro which is the chorus so all right now for the verse there's just two lines in the verse so we're just going to do a simple down strum on the verse and then we get to the strum pattern in the pre-chorus all right so c major left, g major to my own e minor to one Again, rain days fell away like nothing to show. And then you know you can start with the pre-chorus for, start strumming for the pre-chorus. So uh, C major, third fret, second fret, open first fret in case you don't know how to play it. G major, third fret, second fret, open. I'm not playing the first string, you can play it this way as well. And then E minor, second fret over here. And then D major, second fret on the third string and third fret on the second string. I'm not playing the first string, muting it, by just keeping my middle finger over there on the string and not pressing it, so that way it doesn't make any sound. All right, and then you go to the pre-chorus. Here you can uh, start a simple strum pattern, which is going to be all down strums as I played in the demo as well. So you're gonna do eight down strums on each chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you notice, on every odd number, I'm doing the down strums on the lower strings. I'm going towards the lower string as well. And, and on every even number, I strum on the upper strings. If you do that, it will sound like this. So one is odd and two is even and so on. So one, go all the way down and two, stay on the upper string. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you see on every odd number, going down and then staying in the upper strings. Do the same thing on G major, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do on E minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And D major, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it'll sound like this in the walls. Again, repeat the same thing. last D major just do a simple down strum and then you come to the chorus now when you come to the chorus you can play it in different ways I like to play it the same way as the intro like I said before the intro is same as the chorus so I start by doing this and then get into um, the same intro so it just three times on open on third string open on second string second fret on third string and open on third string again and then I get on with the same intro. But if you close your eyes, like nothing changed at all. So, you know, singing along with this um, finger style intro can be a little bit challenging. So, you can just play that intro. Or if you wanna, if you wanna make it simple, then you can just do a strum pattern in the chorus as well. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? If you close your eyes, right? So we're doing down, down, up, up, down, up. It's a very simple strum pattern, a great strum pattern for beginners. Down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, on each. Hard. But if you close your eyes, down, down, up, up, down, up, G major, down, down, up, up, down, up, E minor, and D major. If you close your eyes, does it almost feel like you've been here before? Continue. Now in this part, how I'm going to be an optimist about this, here you're going to C, G, and then straight to D major. So you do it like this. Alright, so you're on C major, you do down, down, up, then you come straight to G, down, down, up, then you come to D, down, down, up, up, down, up. You repeat it again. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then you're gonna go back to your verse number two. Same as verse number one, go back to the pre-chorus, same as the one that we just learned. Go to the chorus again, just like that. After the second chorus, you come to the bridge of the song, which is very easy to play. Moving on the same C, G, E minor, and D, you can do a simple down strum, or you can do this. Where do we begin? A rumble or a 
our sins away till we begin a rumble of our sins and then you go back to the pre-chorus so you know you can either pick individual strings or you can just do a simple down strum I'm just picking the fifth and second string together on the C major for G major I'm picking the top string and sixth string together for E minor, I'm again picking the second string and top string. And then on D major, I'm picking the fourth and third strings together. Then when you get back to the pre-chorus, Same pre chorus, then you get back to the chorus of the song. But if you close your eyes, just the whole chorus, you know how to play it. The chorus is played two times during the very end. All right, so that will be it for the lesson. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed it. Now, let me just quickly show you the melody, the lead part that I played during the demo, which was for the pre chorus only. So, so it goes like this. Fourth string, second fit on the fourth string, open on the third string, then open on the fourth string again, and then open on the third string, second fit on the fourth string, and open on the fourth string. So, and after that, again, open and open on third and fourth string. So, you get this. And then open on the third string, hammer on to second fret on the third string, and then open on the third string, fourth fret on the fourth string, second fret on the fourth string, and then what I'm doing is I'm doing a slide from four to five and doing a slide back from five to four. And I just repeat this whole part one more time for the pre-chorus. So that's a little you know lead part that I played um, just for reference right so I hope you like the lesson make sure to give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you guys next time till then take care and goodbye